Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, I want to share with you guys five pieces of snowboard tech and accessories that I've recently picked up that I'm pretty excited about using. And I think that you guys will get a lot of use out of them if you're into snowboarding or if you're into filming. Up first, I picked up these Pro Standard GoPro accessories for myself. The things that I use for filming are always the things that are just very convenient and easy to carry around and these accessories are definitely that. With these Pro Standard GoPro accessories, the cool thing is is they pop off very simply. So they just pop off like that. There's like a latch here that tightens it on. And so if you have a pole, you can pop it onto your pole and then you can tilt it in any direction you want which is really cool because you can actually put your pole out of the center of the frame, which if you're filming, filming yourself, that's really huge. You can kind of put the pole off to the side and then have yourself or the direction you're headed sort of more of the focus rather than having the pole in the middle of the shot. And then you can easily pop it off and put it onto a different accessory. So then there's also a strap, which is really convenient. Instead of carrying around a big clamp, you can just use this Velcro strap um, strap it on to the chairlift or whatever and the same thing it just pops on really easily and then another accessory and this one's a bit different but it's like a mouth guard accessory kind of like if you want that POV look instead of putting it onto your helmet you can have this in your pocket bring it out for a short run pop your GoPro on and then put it in your mouth and it's like the POV look of exactly where you're where you're riding so that your viewer can see what's happening I don't know how long I would ride with this in, in my mouth for, but I guess it'd be convenient for a, a short run. So that could be a lot of fun to experiment with too. So that's the first piece of tech I'm pretty excited about and I'll put a link to it in the description. Up next, uh, we got the DJI Mavic Pro drone. Yeah, DJI was nice enough to send us out a drone and we've been experimenting with it, you know, filming around town and um, getting some shots of the mountains. And it's been a lot of fun. You know, you can't film with it on the resort because of, you know, the rules, that's understandable. But, you know, once we take this out into the backcountry, we're gonna get some amazing backcountry footage of snowboarding and the scenery. So this has just been a really fun piece of tech to uh, play around with and, and learn how to use. And we're gonna definitely do a lot more filming with it in the future, so keep a lookout for that. But yeah, if you're into filming, if you're into uh, doing outdoor photography or, or videography, definitely check out the DJI drone. And it's a little bit expensive, but if you know, if you're hardcore, if you're really into it, and you want to capture those crazy moments of the outdoors, then uh, yeah, check it out. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Uh, the third snowboard accessory, this is something that a lot of people may overlook, are snowboard socks. And uh, I recently picked up these. These are, uh, the brand is called Instance. And they're just really high quality snowboard socks. They're really long, so you can get them high up above where your boot uh, ends. And they're each designed for a left and a right, which is good for just having that, you know, that proper fit around your foot. You know, if you've done a lot of snowboarding, you know it's important to keep your feet dry. You know, having the proper snowboard socks always helps out. And in stance, I've had a good experience with these. So if you're in a local shop or if you want to check them out online, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool brand and they come in, you know, different uh, styles and with lots of different fabrics. So check these guys out. The fourth thing I've picked up are these snowboard goggles, these electric electrolytes. I've talked about them briefly in other videos, but I've really had a good experience with them riding so far. The highlight, there's two highlights actually. One is that how like light and low profile they are to your face. So you barely feel like you're wearing anything and they just fit like really snugly. And the second thing is the strap which is again just like a really light and low profile strap and when it's around your head and underneath your helmet you can't even feel it. If you're looking for something that's really comfortable and just that you're not even going to notice that you're wearing, check out these electric electrolyte goggles. The one downside is that you can't take the lens out and get a put in a different lens so you'll need two different uh, pairs of goggles for those sunny days versus cloudy days but uh, yeah other than that these are really cool goggles 
And I think they're really good for spring and summer conditions too because they're so light and low profile that on those uh, warmer riding days, they're just gonna be really comfortable on your face. So I'll put a link to these in the description as well. And the final snowboard accessory that I recently picked up is this Dekine backpack. I don't know if you guys remember my old backpack. It was a red Burton bag and somebody stole it on the mountain. But this one, I picked this up recently. It was on sale, I think for $80 Canadian. And it's just great. It's got lots of different pockets to carry your accessories or snacks or whatever you need to put in here. The, the thing with the snowboard backpack is you kind of, you don't want it to be too big but then not too small. And this one is, is right in between. And then also have some comfortable straps, which this one does. And it also has the buckles that can go across your chest and across your waist. So if you're snowboarding out on that last run, you can do up those buckles and it you know, keeps it fitted right to your body. It takes some of the weight off your shoulders. Uh, to kind of make lots of good stuff, um, I believe they're an Oregon company that do a lot of outdoor sports, so they know what they're doing. So if you need a new backpack, check out Dekine. And yeah, this is the Heli Pro backpack. And it says 20, so 20 liter Heli Pro backpack. I think this one is a go-to for snowboarders. So check it out, put a link in the description. So awesome guys, so I got the Pro Standard GoPro accessories, the Mavic Pro drone, what else? The Instant socks, don't forget about the socks long socks, <laughs> electrolyte, electric goggles, and then the Dekine backpack. Uh, five things that have just like really stood out for me recently to adding to my snowboard collection of accessories and tech. So check them out if you need anything. And I'll try to do this once a month, just update you guys on everything that I'm adding to my uh, snowboard collection. Awesome guys, so thanks for watching. I'll put a link right here to the snowboard gear playlist if you're looking for any more tips for buying snowboard gear. I hope you guys are having fun out there riding or possibly you know, doing <laughs> whatever summer hobby or activity you're into. Yeah, until next time guys, have fun out there and I'll see you in the next video.